What is going on miners and welcome back to the Hobbyist Miner channel. Well, we've done a little bit in this room since the last video there. We went ahead and added in uh, this rack on caster wheels. These have been phenomenal. Uh, you can see there's our 12 GPU rig that we did more recently. But today we're gonna talk about this guy. This GPU is by far my biggest nemesis and also the biggest pain in the ass when it comes down to overclock settings and when it comes down to the miner. So I was running this card over here and in this rig we have a RevTech board with a 1660 Ti, another 1660 Ti, uh, what do we have here, 3060, 2060, and a 1070 Ti. So we were running our 3060 Ti in this rig and it was constantly crashing our rig. By the way, look at those temperatures we're pulling in from outside. This air right here, whoo, 57 degrees Fahrenheit right there. We also have that guy up there doing the same thing. So we got a lot of air coming in this room right now. Hopefully it's not destroying the microphone. But anyways, I have pulled this card into this rig here and I have spent hours, I'm not lying, nailing down overclock settings for the Zotac. The Zotac uses Hynix memory and I swear Zotacs are totally different than any other cards out there. I don't know what it is, maybe it's just me. But today we're gonna to spend some time nailing down overclock settings, and then we're gonna go ahead and test five or six different miners to figure out which miner is best for the LHR for the 3060 Ti. So let's go ahead and jump over to the computer and take a deeper dive. Okay guys, so we're gonna go ahead and work on the Zotac RTX 3060 Ti LHR GPU today. This card runs on Hynix memory, and we're gonna be testing out a handful of different miners with this card because I've had so much trouble with this card and stability that I wanna put the time in here that hopefully it benefits you so you don't have to put in the time. So we're gonna go ahead and test out T-Rex miner, LOL miner, NB miner, G miner, Phoenix miner, and Nano miner. Now, I recommend that you guys do all your own testing if you don't agree with my testing, but at the end of the day, every card is different. Even from Hynix to Hynix, 3060 Ti to 3060 Ti. So take all of this with a grain of salt and please do your own testing the best you can. But hey, if I save you five minutes, awesome. So what I've done is I've spent a ton of time testing out the Zotac 3060 Ti with the Hynix memory. And I have tried so many different configurations for my core and my memory overclock settings. And I'm not gonna lie, the Zotac 3060 Ti, I would say is probably the worst 3060 Ti out there because the most stable overclock settings that I have found are 1550 core, 1700 memory and 170 power limit you need to throw power at this thing in order to get it stable i have spent so much time trying out some negative core clock settings and some 2000 2500 2700 memory clock with 105 or 110 power limit and this zotac 3060 ti just crashes left and right it's just the, the stability is not there now it works with other 3060 Ti's, with other brands, which is awesome. But with the Zotac running the, the Hynix memory, it just doesn't work. It's just not stable. Now, if you have this exact card and everything I'm saying you disagree with, please comment down below. But I am hoping that these overclock settings help someone who is tearing out their hair trying to get this card to be stable mining Ethereum. So I'm going to spend the next few hours testing out this card on T-Rex Miner, LOL Miner, NB Miner, G Miner, Phoenix Miner, and Nano Miner, and filling out this Excel spreadsheet here. And then we'll check back in a few minutes for you guys. For me, it's going to be a while. 
and we'll discuss which miner is the best, which one uses the uh, has the most variation in watts at the wall, uh, and uh, which one seems to be the most stable. So I'll see you guys back here in a few minutes. Alrighty, guys, we are back. Let's go ahead and go over the information here. Uh, the ones in green are the top three I recommend. Orange is kind of in the middle and red is do not touch these. So starting at the top, we have T-Rex Miner. We were running our testing on 0.24.2, which is the latest driver, or I'm sorry, the latest miner out there. And the top hash rate we, we were able to achieve was 43.11 Ethereum. Now we were running on driver 470.74 and our memory our, our memory, our core and our power limit were all the same for all of our testing. So for T-Rex miner, our at the wall lowest was 159 watts and at the highest was 174. So you could definitely see where that LHR on the latest T-Rex miner was working and fighting back and forth, back and forth uh, between the T-Rex miner and also with the LHR configurations in there. Last I looked, the LHR was right around 70 at the end of the day there. But you can see that a lot of fluctuations with the watts. Jumping down to LOL miner, we are running at the latest, which is 1.34, and our hash rate was as high as 42.53. Driver was the same, core memory and power limit were the same as well. A little bit lower when it comes down to the watts at 157 up to 170. But you can see why these cards are getting the best hash rate because of the fact that the uh, miner is fighting with the LHR uh, the most in order to get you the most amount of hash rate. Jumping down to NB miner, we were running on version 39.5 and that was at 41.54. All the same inf information across the board, but look at the difference at the low 107 up to 166. One of the largest spreads that we saw through all of the miners was with NB miner. Now, once we get start to get into the middle here, uh, we start to see that the hash rate starts to drop. We're now down to 41.9 and that's on G minor on version 2.7. All the same settings across the board again. And this one, we saw a lot of that same thing as we did with NB minor. We saw 108 up to 166. So a lot of fluctuation. Finally, the last two Phoenix minor and Nano minor just had no, there's just no LHR progression on these miners. I do not recommend them for any LHR cards. Now, other cards which aren't LHR, go for it. Absolutely. But these were at the high was 37.8 and 33.8 but these were literally i put notes on the side would just tick down like you would see these high on the hash rate 37.8 and 33.8 but then it was just every few seconds ticking down 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 below 30 it was it is not worth it to go with phoenix miner or nano miner and and look at our watts 130 to 133 130 to 134 so 
definitely lower, but the fluctuation isn't as high because there's no LHR technology behind these miners trying to fight to keep the hash rate up. So that being said, I have gone ahead and put my 3060 Ti from Zotac on Hynix memory on T-Rex miner. And if we go ahead and swap over here, you can see right now we're at 43.27. And now where our power limit is 170. So at that limit right there, we are seeing fluctuations between 159 and 174 watts at the wall. Now, is the efficiency there is the big question. You know, where are we at with efficiency? I always drive home. People on my Discord will agree with me. I am constantly driving home. Look at your hash rate. Look at your watts. And are you throwing a ton of watts to get this crazy hash rate, but it's not as efficient? The challenge is with the Zotac and the Hynix memory is in order to get stability, you need a lot of power behind it. So 1550 core, 1700 memory, and 170 power limit is what I am recommending for you guys with T-Rex Miner for the 3060 Ti. Could you get by with LOL Miner and B Miner? Absolutely. Anything in the green, I recommend. Even the orange, even G Miner is not too, too bad. But with the watts fluctuating so much on G Miner, I, I just think you're not going to have the stability of hash rate where it should be because the watts are fluctuating so much. Well, guys, that is it for today. Thank goodness we have finally conquered the Zotac 3060 Ti. I always say I'm never going to buy another Zotac, and I always end up finding a deal for a Zotac, and I buy it. And yes, here we are today. Well, guys, if this was helpful for you, go ahead and give this video a thumbs up. And finally, don't forget to subscribe. Until next time, take care.